Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Emerson Ahari, I'm a Google Earth Engine expert. In this tutorial, I'm gonna introduce one of the new data set releasing by Awesome GE Community Catalog. This data set entitled Landsat Global Land Cover Data from 1985 to 2022. This is a wonderful land cover product available with 30 meter spatial resolution and several classes. You can get uh, uh, detailed information about, e about each classes briefly here. So now I'm gonna show you how to deal with this product in the Earth engine and how to get exports for your own region of interest. This is a short tutorial, just introduction about this data because it's really, really valuable, specifically for the years before 2000, because we have a serious lack of land cover product with a good spatial resolution for that period of time. So I'm highly suggesting to use this data product for your own studies and long-term environmental monitoring. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna use the code editor environment because I'm just gonna call the data and get an export and doing some sort of a very simple visualization. Unlike the previous tutorials, I'm not gonna work with the Python libraries because uh, we not focus on machine learning approach in this tutorial. Just wanna show you how to extract desired land cover data for your own region of interest. In the first step, we need to identify the region of the interest. For example, through the search places and data set, you can have access to four administrative layers. As you can see, in different levels, the data set is available. For example, I'm gonna use the level one, it is province scale. So let's print to see what do we have here. Let me increase the size of the script now get it is easier for you to see the code so map dot app layer allowing us to visualize the table so as you can see this data set including province borders so for example i'm gonna select one of the provinces uh, i'm working now this is in northern iran you can choose your own region of interest because these data set available for all around the world, not only limited to one location. So as you can see here, I'm gonna select this province uh, actually in the north of Iran. So it is really easy to select your own region of interest through the shape file. So the easiest way is mark the target area like that and then create a variable ROI just a moment I need to change something in my keyboard ROI sets to from the table I'm gonna filter that area covered by geometry so then map.center object focuses on that region and visualized by map.roi map the first add layer no longer needed let's run a code something is wrong here collection filter must be a string that filter bones sorry it was my mistake you know we have several kind of filters in the earth engine so when we want to filter our data based on uh, a special characteristic we need to use filter bones just like this so as you can see the target province easily selected so i'm suggesting you to do a simplification before further analysis the simplification allowing us to speed up processing a speed up in the uh, specifically in the next steps so how to do it let's convert it into a geometry first and do the simplification just like that with thousand degree i suggest to use the thousand degree 
but you can increase or decrease the value higher values higher simplification and vice versa so remember to save the code and let's run again we did a simplification while we keeping the same shape of the region that's good the next step is about calling this data set into the code editor environment hopefully there is a code example here showing how to call this product into code editor environment just copy and paste just like that so remember that we need to filter this data set according to our region of interest because uh, because the Landsat actually the Landsat product covering the globe based on different frames so that's when that's why we need to filter those frames overlapping with our region of interest again filter bones allowing us to handle this that filter bond ROI just like that so let's make a print to see how many images available in this area as you can see we have two elements maybe we have two frames covering this area we can do a mosaicing process without any challenge just like that make a mosaic layer very simple so let's run it again and now only one single image remained with 23 bands 23 bands each band belong to one year starting from 1985 to 2022 so that's really interesting product here we have 23 bands and each one of them belongs to one single year for some years it is also available with five years frequency as you can see if you go through the descriptions uh, with five years temporal frequency actually uh, it's also available with five years a gap for uh, the years before 2000 so that's up to you which one of these uh, used in the study but I prefer to use the annual one so in the next step I'm gonna show you how to do the simple visualization to get a more understanding about the information available in this data set so it is really easy to do just try to call the visualization function map.add layer call the annual data set and then clip it based on the province border just like this uh, the layer name could be land cover and use the false to avoid automatic visualization let's run it again and there you go so in the layers we have a new layer as a land cover and as you can see go to the uh, when we go to the data setting here 23 bands available for example the last image uh, most probably it is for 2022 you can increase uh, stretch it based on uh, minimum and maximum value and click on apply here you can see the various classes here each one of them representing a land cover if you want to know about the each class characteristic the table of content here is very useful so go to inspector and select on a pixel or click on a pixel here you can see the value of or the class of that pixel over the last over the 23 years so through the time this pixel actually labeled with uh, labeled by number 11 the number 11 is a kind of cropland here as you can see or this area you can see through the time had a single class or had a unique class the class number is 62 it's a kind of forest or the other regions for example this area uh, highlighted with 62 and another one for example upstream area or elevated area here 150 
what 150 means. It's a kind of a sparse vegetation. So you can see it is actually including various information and easily you can use to monitor how the land cover changes through the time. But in this tutorial, just I'm going to show you uh, what this data looks like and how many information available here and how we can get export from these data sets. So, or another area here you can see, that's interesting. For example, here, for that pixel, you can see uh, in the most of the years, it was labeled as 210. What was that? What is the 210? It was a water body, but in the recent years, turned to different classes. From water body, turned to uh, number 182, uh, turned to the marsh. The amount of water body decreased significantly. Or 122, yes, it is 122 in different years. It's actually a kind of uh, class transition from the water body to the marshland. So such kind of multi-temporal data sets are really, really valuable to monitor uh, how classes changes uh, through the time. The inspector is the easiest way that you can use this in this regard, use it in this regard. And also there are some advanced methods, but now in this tutorial, just I'm gonna actually make an introduction about this product. In future, I will share more uh, important techniques about land cover time series analysis. But here, just we get we want to know how to download the land cover data for all region of interest with 30 meter resolution produced by Landsat Images. Okay, after you did this process, now we need to call a function to get an export. So, exports dot image to drive that's image to drive there it is so make a dictionary like this and couple of arguments considering here the first is that image we want to get export this is the annual layer that is clipped based on region of interest there it is and the next is the description the description uh, referring to the name of the output. For example, the output name will be annual map for, for example, Gilan uh, province. This is the province name, uh, the province I'm working, I mean. So the scale or the pixel size. Uh, the pixel size should be 30 meter but they reduce it to 100 meter to speed up the process of export. So, and region of interest sets to ROI and CRS coordinate system sets to EPSG 4326. And the next thing is the target folder you wanna save your data in. For example, I'm gonna save the data in the test folder. The next is max pixels. The maximum pixels uh, Earth engine allow to actually, uh, the maximum pixels each frame allows contain in the export process. 1E13. So let's run a code and after a few moments you can see the task highlighted here the data set is ready to export. Just click on run and wait until the process of saving is over. So, once the tabs color turns to the blue, meaning that the product is ready to download from your own Google Drive. So, I will pause the video for now and resume after saving process done. As you can see, after four minutes, the map is ready. Open in drive. So annual map for Gilan is ready. Click on download. And after a few moments, you will have 
the output just like this so now in the next step let's open QGIS software you can use any GIS related software so I prefer to use the QGIS as an open source uh, version for geospatial analysis so through the open data source you can enter or insert your desired data so go to download or the address you save the data so select the target database or data set and let's add it so as you can see here the land cover product is ready if you go to the symbology part through the properties and then the symbology you can use you need to choose uh, you must choose the single band gray and 23 band available here each one of them representing land cover for one specific year so click on OK and then you will have access to land covers for different years or if you go to this icon open the layer styling panel in the right hand side you can actually do the visual analysis just like that and it is really easy to handle this data it is already georeferenced and there is no problem and you can comp you can have access to land cover for different years easily just by changing the tabs like this I hope you like this tutorial as much as I did and try to do this process yourself and try to learn how to run the script in the earth engine it was a really short tutorial just wanna let you know about just wanna inform you about the availability of this data set and how to use it for your own study area if you had any problem or any challenge, feel free to put your comments on my YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.